This is the dual ESP32 version one GPIO board by AWOC Dynamics for the Flipper Zero. So like I said, it is the dual ESP32. This is the version one. The version one doesn't have um, some buttons on the back that the version two has for various programming purposes. But this is the version one. It has the custom 3D printing case with the GPIO pin cover. So the ESP32s, there's two of them in here. There's the W Rover and the W Room. The Room, the W Room controls the screen. And the uh, W Rover controls or is controlled by the interface on the flipper. So let's plug it in and check it out. This version, as you can see right here, has a touch screen. So before I plug it into the flipper, I always like to make sure that my antennas are attached. I don't want to cause any damage. In there now we can connect it to the flipper. All right, immediately turns on. And like I said, it's a touch screen. So and it's dual. So I'm running the rover chip from the flipper and I'm going to run the screen with the room chip and it is a touch screen so let's use that function let's go over here and let's do a sniff and we'll do an AP sniff Let's do that. Cool. All right, a bunch of stuff comes up to get back. I just touched the screen. And we can do the same thing over here. Do a little AP scan. And while we're doing that, go back. And back again. Go to some Bluetooth. Let's do a Bluetooth attack. Swiss pair. See if it messes with my computer. Yes, it is. I can confirm it is screwing with my computer. All right. Oh, and we'll go back. Okay, looks like we got enough going on here. Let's take a list of what we found. All right, we found a bunch of stuff. Let's see if there's anything. All right, let's uh, let's select something that I saw up there. All right, that's saved. Well, I'll start a deauth attack. Boom. Let's see what we can find while we're using this to do the attack. And let's see what we can see on the flipper. Wi-Fi, sniffers, Dioth sniff. Let's see what we see. Oh, something's coming up. See if it comes up again when it rotates back. I think it was five, six, and seven. Channel two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and it stops on eight, so it's five, six, and seven. Let's stop my attack, and that'll make it so that on channels five, six, and seven, we don't see any more activity. No more activity. Let's cycle through again, but I'm going to make it start on six, and we'll prove this. Three, 
four, five. There you go. And now I'll stop the attack. And we can go back here and stop the sniff. Back. Go back. And being able to do this at the same time, being able to, you know, attack in one area and sniff in the same is very valuable for learning. Also, having this touch screen uh, makes it a lot easier to deal with. Uh, it's nice to add something like that to the flipper. A, a, a touch screen sort of device to it is really uh, an extra little step. The design of this is very solid, very nice, and it works really great with the flipper and looks great on it too. Slightly menacing, I would say. It looks slightly menacing. In any case, this is the Dual ESP32 Touchscreen by AWOC Dynamics for the Flipper Zero.